Hello, this is Michelle again with some tech tips, and today I'm going to show you how to add a read receipt or a delivery receipt to an email that you are sending in Outlook. And what this means is when the email is delivered to the person you sent it to, you will get a notification saying, hey, yes, this was delivered, and it will actually be something in writing in the email. Then when the person reads it, uh, theoretically speaking, you will get a notification that they read the message. However, the reason I'm a little iffy about that is because there are ways to turn off read notifications from the side of the person receiving the message. So if they have read notifications turned off or if they just click no, I don't want to send a notification, you'll never get that read notification. But theoretically, you can check and see if the person allowed you to receive a read notification back and you would know they read it. The delivery option, I'm not aware of a way to turn the delivery receipt off, so I believe that one would work all the time. But I have here, I have opened an email to send to someone, and I did this just by going to new email at the top here. One, and you have to be inside a new email for it to work. Once you are inside this new email, you're going to go to the options menu here at the top. And then you'll notice it's really easy right here. It's just two little check boxes. You can request a delivery receipt. And remember, this is the one that will send you a receipt when it's delivered to the person. I don't think there's a way to turn this off. So I think this is going to always work for you. And then if you check this box, you can request a read receipt. And that means as long as the person allows it, you will get a receipt back saying that they've read it. But remember, they can turn this one off so that it never happens or they can just click no and say no i don't want it to happen this time so there are ways they can turn this one off for sure but i don't think there's ways to turn this one off then you just do your email just like normal just like you always would do put in who you're sending it to type your email and click send that's all there is to it you just check one of these two boxes of course you can tell maybe that this is in the desktop version of outlook and that's where you'll find it now i want to show you something else you can go to the file menu and click options down at the bottom and if you do that go to the mail option on the left hand side and in the mail option if you scroll down until you see tracking when you see tracking you'll notice here it says for all messages sent request a delivery receipt and or a read receipt so if you check one or both of these boxes that means that every mail you send will automatically request these so if you know you're going to want these all the time i would just go here and just check them click ok and then every time you send a message they're always going to pop up like that now here's an interesting thing right under here it says for any message received that includes a read receipt request. I had gotten into my desktop Outlook just to make this video. I've been using the website version of Outlook. And so this is the first time I've been using the desktop Outlook. And so this is interesting to notice that it comes default as never send a read receipt. Not even ask, just never send. So when I told you that this one may not work because people may not allow it, Actually, unless they've gone in here and changed this, it's not going to be allowed. It's just never going to give them a message. So don't depend on read receipt. But if you'll notice, there is nothing here that says anything about delivery receipt. So as far as I know, this one will always work. There's no way to turn it off. Now, if, the, if you go in here and you check this, ask each time, then if somebody sends you an email and they've requested a read receipt, it's going to ask you. This person would like a read receipt. Would you like to send one? And you can say yes or no. Or you can check always send a read receipt. In which case, if you always send a read receipt, then it's not even going to ask you. It's just going to send that read receipt back and this will work. But it depends on what the person has checked here as to whether your read receipt is going to work. It might be useless to request a read receipt, especially if they have this button check, because they're never even going to know that you asked for one. But it might not.
if they have one of these two checked, you may get one back. But the one that's a little more foolproof is the delivery receipt. That one should work because I don't know of any way to turn that one off from the other side. Um, and what we're also going to do, now that I have checked, I'm going to click ask here. Now that I have checked delivery receipt and read receipt here, I'm going to go back. And I'm going to open up a new email again. And this time, let's go look at options. And notice that these buttons are already checked. So all that means is I didn't have to go check them. But if I change my mind, if I almost always want to request one, so I set that in the options back here, but I change my mind. And on this one, I don't want to. I think that would be rude to whoever I'm sending this one to. I can turn them off on this one email and they still would stay on for every other time I send emails. But sending a read receipt or a delivery receipt is just that easy. That's how you do it. So if you use the website version of Outlook by going to outlook.office.com instead of the desktop version, the process of doing a read receipt or a delivery receipt is the same thing, basically, we just have to go through some different menus to get to it. So I've opened up a new message again by clicking the new message button. And this time, just above the new message, I'm going to click these three dots. When I click the three dots, it says show message options. And when I show message options, notice here are the same checkboxes. I can check request a read receipt, request a delivery receipt. That's for this one email. And that's all you do. You say, okay, you go ahead and type your email, send it to whoever you want to send it, and it works the same as before. The delivery receipt should work every time. The read receipt is a little more iffy depending on if they've allowed it or not, but it should still work the same. So basically, that's all there is to it. Now you can go and send your own emails and request read receipts or delivery receipts.